install a housing mount for external use of a box camera. This is a box camera. It contains two parts, the camera and the lens. There's two kinds of lens, a manual lens and an auto iris lens. Today we're going to use an auto iris lens. You can, you can identify it by the extra cable that comes from the lens to the camera. So let's go and screw the lens on top of the camera. And then we'll plug the auto iris cable to the back of the camera on the black plug as you see in the picture. We have the BNC connector in the back which should send the signal from the camera and the power. This is the housing for box camera. This housing is used for external use of cameras if you want to put camera outside. So let's open it up. It has a cup and a bolt which will show you how to use that. That will prevent from water coming in to the housing through the cable connection. This screw that came inside the bag will mount the camera to the slider. This is the slider. So let's pull the slider out. This plastic plate will uh, help us mount the camera inside the box, inside the housing. The camera, the box camera is going to mount. It has a mounting bracket in the bottom of the camera and it will mount the slider this way. So we'll take the screws that we got and we'll screw it through the plate to the camera. doesn't have to be too tight. Now we'll put the camera with the slider inside the housing. Push it in. And now the camera can slide back and forth. We want to put the camera as close as we can to the window, the front window of the, of the housing, to prevent reflection of light. As we said, there is an, a cup and a bolt. Um, it contains three parts. The cup. Inside the cup, there is a rubber tube, the black rubber tube. We'll take it out. The rubber tube will help us, will help the cable prevent from water going in through the cable into the housing. So we'll pull it out. Now we're going to take the Siamese cable or the RG59 plus power and push it through the bolt and through the rubber tube. Make sure both cables go into the rubber tube. And into the cup, the upper cup. Perfect. Now we'll pull a bit of an extra cable as we need and then we'll screw the bolt on top of the cap. When we tighten it, that will tighten the rubber tubing on top of the cable and prevent water from coming in. It has The cap has two grooves on both sides, so those will lock the cap into the housing. So let's take the cable and push them through the, the hole in the bottom of the housing. And we're going to push it in and it's going to lock. Okay, now we secure the cable coming into the housing. Now we need to terminate those cables and connect them into the camera. 
So let's strip the power cable first. And to the coax, we take about half an inch from the edge of the cable. We'll strip the cable. Create a cut, a tiny cut to the outer um, jacket of the cable and pull it. And we just reveal the braided shield part of the cable. Now separate the shielded part from the center core by pushing it back. And then we'll strip the center part, the center core of the cable. If you want to get more information on how to terminate BNC connectors, refer to the video library on BNC connector termination. Today we're using a twist on BNC connector, so we're just going to twist it on. When we twist BNC connector, make sure that the center core of the cable doesn't touch the edge of the connector because that will cause um, trouble with the picture. Okay, we're done. We'll take the camera out of the slider. The BNC connector will connect to the BNC area. Now we need to strip the power cable. You strip about three millimeters on the power cable. You unscrew the cable, the screws in the back of the camera, the plus and the minus. And you slide those cable in the designated area, plus for plus, minus for minus. And then you tighten the screws back on top of the cable. We'll connect the BNC connector. And we'll put the camera back in the slider, in the rails. There we go. The camera is safely mounted inside the housing. Close the case and lock it. Now, housing by itself cannot be mounted. To mount the housing, you need to use a housing mount. There's different kind of housing mount depending on the surface you're planning to install them. There is a wall mount, a ceiling mount, a corner mount. This is a typical wall mount housing camera. It comes with a bunch of screws. Some screws is to mount the mount to the wall, and there's two extra screws to mount the housing mount to the housing itself. Those are the two housing mount screws. So let's take them all out. And they will be fitting in this area in the housing, in the grooves. So we'll learn, turn the housing. This is the zip area where the housing mount is going to mount it. So let's put the housing mount upside down and put the get the screws and then let's mount the two pieces together. the screws as strong as you can without hurting the surface of the camera.